the unjust. By my will, ours is but to do and die. Stand with me, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Retribution. <laughs> Damasia, now and forever. Protect the faithful. Damasia. For my father, the king. Ha! Who dares defy my will? You like my weapon? Get some! Damasia! 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 I must not fail. What's up, love crew? Congratulations! You clicked just right on time, my friend! <laughs> Where we will explore another unusual support, which I believe is very underestimated. Of course, on one side you'll always have a better support to pick. <laughs> However, I decided to give some love and attention to one of the first champions in League, which is Jarvan, and see what he can or can't do as a support. Ooh, I see somebody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the sandwich, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, so far, but. Ay! Wow. You know what would happen if I would follow up quicker? <laughs> wow. Okay, so we are here as well. It's time for bullying. Good, so Ezreal flashed. I think that Jin actually did quite well. So we're okay, as long as I'm not dead. Because <laughs> let me tell you, playing with your high support most of the time, you are end up like being fucking dead anyway, so. <laughs> but, 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 but. Quick shout out to everyone who's watching right now and we're about to have some fun, woo! <laughs> considering that in phase. <laughs> so after grinding for a few weeks now, my initial thoughts would be... Okay, I'm just waiting for a good engage. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Oops. Man, this is so sad. But we actually didn't kill Azrael. I thought that it's gonna be first to blood. Wow, okay. I think that initially Rel is way better than me. Like I have as well to engage, but she's in general like quite tankier than me and have more damage than me. Like ugh. anyway, despite of this Abubu, I still think that he's a great support, you know? He has that potential, but uh, I would say he's quite conditional because he needs a very good circumstances for his E. Otherwise, if you mess up or your ADC won't follow up, you most likely will die or lose a lot of HP like I did there. <laughs> but in the end of the day, we just don't have that much damage to kill Azrael, which is sad, but um, you know, I just have to be patient because from level six, this is where you have a very good engage, especially with gangs. But for now, EQ initial engage is good for fights. As you saw, guys, you are very squishy at the beginning. So if your engage is messed up, you might lose trades. And if you rush EQ combo, you can easily mess up and end up queuing first. And only after then you drop your E flag. And trust me, guys, happened way too many times in stressful situations. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, losing that, you know, potential either to secure a kill or escape. So this is just a heads up before anything happens. <laughs> but anyway, we are pushing the wave and as you see, Ezreal is very much low HP and it really is. Um, Rel is doing a very, very good job by protecting him. Okay, let's see if my E is gonna be enough. Woo! 
<laughs> very good, very, very good, guys. <laughs> it's very good that I reprocked. Otherwise, I don't know if that would be enough for just my E to kill him. Lucky that Jin just I don't think he's gonna escape. No, he definitely overstayed there. He had to just back down. He made that mistake, so that's quite unfortunate. Speaking of, I think that for Jervan's support, best pairing would be uh, ADCs that can follow up quickly, such as, for example, Kaisa, Vayne, Samira, Ezreal. Or potentially Jin due to his additional CC, which is the CC works pretty well. Okay, Azrael, my boy. Yeah, I have to protect the chin. I just don't want him to die. Ah! <laughs> Very good. Good boy, good boy. Oh my god! Like, never had to gag to the boss lane. This is just crazy, man. It's so sad that they actually followed up on Rel instead of helping me and killing Ramos. Well, well, you know, it's life of the support. I just died. <laughs> Very unfortunate. Because the problem is that Ramos had actually a shutdown. So for them to turn around and kill Ramos and get the shutdown and I would live would be way more better trade than what we have now. But those are mistakes are made, it's normal. Good of a trade, just quite shit. I really tried to zone TF and I thought that Ahri is gonna do way more damage than she did. So in the end, it didn't really work out. Man, this is not working out. <laughs> Seems like a typical Jarvan game that I had for the past three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's very unlucky. But continuing our journey from Jarvan's support, let's talk about the runes now. I think you can choose different runes depending on your build preferences. For example, if you want to go damage build, you'd have to go with Electrocute. I think that would be the best option. And if you prefer to go sort of bruiser tanky Jervan, you could take Conqueror. Or in this case, that I'm playing right now, uh, support tanky Jervan would be Ayari. Because you saw guys, it really, really actually helps me, especially when I was aiming for that Ezreal kill. <laughs> I chose that, but obviously, you do the way, like I said, it really depends on your preferences. Because I tried many things throughout those couple of weeks, and for now in general, these runes and this build works quite well. Oh, wow. <laughs> they are so aggressive. Ow! Don't, don't kill my friends! <laughs> 
shit. It's just so sad that they actually focus Jin. It's good that I killed Ezreal, but my, I'm not surviving this. I should know, like, Rel is way better than me. It's really, really hard. I literally have no HP and I need to really, really rush Zonias. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Because for now, like I said, Rel is being a way better support than me. And I just look like a freaking crap. <laughs> Alex, you are better than this. <laughs> so, yes. We are gonna start rushing Zonias. And with that being said, you know, I tried many options with the builds. And initially I started with Damage Eater 1 support, going through Eclipse. It's a good build, don't get me wrong. If your team is very active and aggressive, it's very good. But let me tell you this. I played maybe 30 games and each time I was just unlucky with the team. <laughs> Resulting in dying so many times that made me quit the idea of, you know, damage each other and just like, whatever, just drop it. <laughs> Man, this game is so much fighting, I'm just happy that Jen actually survived. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just committing, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried to bait, but yeah, she's not gonna follow up. I know, but she's not that stupid. She knows. She knows! <laughs> I just stopped her backing. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you're so stupid. I would be lying if I wouldn't say that that ultimate was so sexy and so fucking annoying at the same time. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I just need time. I need to go a little bit tankier and I'll be okay. Like I said, I already tried Damage Jarvan. It didn't work out. Um, it's quite fun build because i used to one shot someone and then die in a second without possibility to escape therefore just to let you know my death count was ridiculously high <laughs> so that's why i just dropped that idea so now we're going for like more of the supporty tank build which initially i was skeptical you lose a lot on damage however i saw that it gave me possibility to engage do a bit of damage and go out leaving my team to clean up the kills but of course this won't make you the star of the show <laughs> but it will make you alive <laughs> so after egoing and losing straight for three weeks i ended up with tanky build that i honestly started to like so basically I start with Radiant Virtue or in this case, like I'm really rushing Zonias because there's just no other way I can survive any engages. And as you see, like I already died freaking four times. And let me tell you this, I don't want to die. <laughs> So yeah, so right now I'm rushing Zonias and then we're gonna go with Radiant Virtue. But usually you would like to go Radiant Virtue first and then go with uh, support items like Redemption or you can switch it up and do extra damage or go to Zonias. she's gonna be in the bush so i just straight away aimed for Ezreal. i don't think that she can do anything by herself oh my gosh 
But, 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 but. Like, she's just better than me. Like, uh, she's playing with normal supports. The basic diff. <laughs> Anyway, 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 I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on you, Charbon. <laughs> like, I was in the CC, I couldn't even press Zonia, so that's a bit shit. But let me tell you this, I was actually flamed a lot for going AP, but the logic behind it is that you do engage with your combo EQ, and then you use your ultimate, Zonias, and then go out for your team to do the rest and pick up the kills. However, if they don't follow up, that's where the flame and weak mental starts. <laughs> so prepare yourself if you try J4 support. You go for whatever build you want, but I think that this build actually works. And if I don't understand, just fuck it. <laughs> But regardless of all of those like pros and cons, I think that in general, Jervon is pretty easy as a support. You don't have to necessarily be aggressive, guys. You can go tanky mode and play through E plus Aerie. It's that simple. You don't really have to go. But if you are hyper aggressive and you know that your T will be good, which probably for Jervon damage to actually work out and have fun because you do have fun, you know, one shotting people with Jervon support is like giga fun. <laughs> but for that, I think that you have to have 5v5 team playing with your friends that can follow up and know what you're doing. I mean, unless your friends play bad, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but if your friends play good and they can follow up and you can communicate Jarvan damage, please go for it. That's literally the best build, in my opinion. But if you play with randoms, I think it's just easier to go safe mode and go support tanky build. Oh, by the way, fun fact. Did you know that Jarvan is actually a midget? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Right? Like, I never knew. Like, I thought that he's more of like Pantheon type of like Giga Chad. Strong, sexy man. Manly man. <laughs> and usually how I do with my videos, I pick up the support that I'm gonna grind. And in the meantime, while I'm playing, I'm gathering the videos for the intro. And when I was looking at the replays, I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait a second. What, 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 what? This is not happening. He's actually a bitch. <laughs> so this is a very fun fact. He's still a badass. And actually him being a midget is quite cool. Like, this is shit I just know. <laughs> So here you go, unnecessary league information. <laughs> oh shit, I knew they were gonna be in a bush. Okay, it did not work out for me <laughs> personally, but uh, the power of Sonia's. <laughs> yeah, I'm like super squishy, so they just shot me. I need a bit of time to be able to escape with my E Q combo. But in general, I think that I died for the good cause because they traded one for five. So for me, they basically all died and we took objective. So I think that's quite good trade. Actually, it's super, super good. <laughs> but it's just not nice, you know, guys. It's just <laughs> not nice to die. Even if it's for the good cause. And between you and me, this game is very, very weird because it's very much a high kill count and there's a lot of fighting. But I don't mind, but guys, just chill for a bit. Okay, it's my time to shine. Demacia! Ah! <laughs> okay, it was more of the like, Demacia! <laughs> Didn't really work out. I don't know, things were actually going pretty well up until this point. Like, everything just went very, very shit. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. We failed this. It is what it is. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I'm just trying to stop the Baron or do something at this point. <laughs> Bro, that's 2.5 seconds of CC. Okay, but yet again, I can say that we decided for a good cause because I tried to solve them as much as I can so that my team would follow up. And we actually did, so I'm quite happy that we again traded support for the whole team. So that's very, very good. And I think in general, I have to stick with Gwen because she's very, very strong. So even though it's upsetting that I died again, I think that we really need to catch up with assist count because we're quite behind. So you know what? If I have to die to get my five assists, let it rain. <laughs> Let the assists rain. It's fine. <laughs> but I'm not planning to die anymore. <laughs> I promise, like, I don't want to die anymore. Okay. Unfortunately, the cone was not there, so I had to flash. I cannot do that or anything, so I just poke with E and I have to run away. I know what you think, guys. Rel is better. Yes. <laughs> you are absolutely right, my friend. <laughs> but we are always in this situation and we in this together. <laughs> So with that being said, I really need to focus more, use my Zhonyas. I really, bruh, I don't really want to die anymore. And we need those assists to rain. So basically that's going to be my goal. And let's see, like, okay, if we're going to lose, we're going to lose. But I'm just super competitive because Rel is a very, very good champion as a support. And honestly, like, I think as a top laner, she might be quite good. So I'm here having a big, big competition. I'm not going to lie. Plus, Ezreal plays very good and he's challenging me so many times that he escaped. But there's times where I revenge for my embarrassing death. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm gonna make sure that my death will be avenged every single time. Because that was pretty nasty. <laughs> Good, so we cleared the map, which led us to securing with the dragon. I was just hoping really to get that dragon because I think it's gonna really, really help me. Otherwise, I was just like, please, no, 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 no. I don't want anyone to steal that dragon. <laughs> so we're fine. We're letting the assist rain. That's the most important thing. And I'm just trying to finish my Freytian Virtue. It's definitely gonna make a huge impact on the game. And I'm just gonna try and practice, like I said, my main tactics, which is EQ. If the ultimate is available, do it available with the Ignite. And with the help of Zhonya's, run away but you know sometimes it works and sometimes it don't i tried a couple of games and i think like i said it's very specific and you really need to practice but once you get it it's quite easy you know Okay, let's go and try to help Kha'Zix. Let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna try and zone TF again. The power of Shonya saved me! Demacia! Ow! I died. Oh no, guys! 
this? What happened? Ah, oh, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad, too bad. Astral, my boy. My boy. Got the triple kill. That was really, really good for him. Was shitty fight. And for this, probably, we're gonna lose mid. I just hope that they are not gonna take in Hib. But yeah, I mean, Ezreal plays really good. I gotta give him that. I'm really trying to zone either Ezreal or TF. And the initial follow up was very good, but just like we like damage. So it's very unfortunate. Oops. Fuck! <laughs> okay, I got my assist, this is the master. <laughs> Very good, let it rain. Let it rain. Demacia diff, man. <laughs> no, we're actually quite good on assists. We picked it up quite well. And for the love of God, I saw what I said. We're like, I don't want that nine to go for 10, you know? <laughs> and I'm gonna do everything in my power not to die anymore because if I will, I will uninstall League of Legends. How's that for the deal, guys? Guys, 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 worth for now, worth. <laughs> worth anyway. <laughs> You see, that's exactly what I'm saying. The power of Zonias, man, is one of those broken items that helps so much. Because I had to die there, you know, and I keep like, you know, getting flamed for going AP, but it really, really helps. Like I don't have money for Guardian Angel, right? And the Guardian Angel cooldown is way, way longer than Zonias. And this is not one of those satanistic builds where Oh my gosh, how dare you, <laughs> you know? We're not summoning demons here. It's quite common for non-NP champions to build Zonias because it's just, the item is that good and that broken. So you might as well invest, you know? And so far, I can say that it definitely saved my life quite a few times. because TF Zonias, I actually survived. And the thing is like, he would not survive there and he would die anyway. So he might as well, instead of Zonias, he would simply kill me and die. But what he did, unfortunately he did a worse for himself when he's Zonias and I could escape but he would still die. So thank you TF, you saved me. Like I'm telling you, this is like raiding from heavens, you know? <laughs> TF is like, no, I'm gonna sacrifice myself so you would not delete League. And I'm like, no, please, I wanna die. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I, he made that little mistake and I actually survived. So it's very, very good.
And I think, guys, our stats are way better than Rael's. We're quite in a similar position. That's actually super cute, considering that I did struggle a lot in initial laning phase. I think that right now we're like super, super cool. I actually like it. Right now, like I said, Jervan support tanky build is more of a later game. You just need those items and you can be useful. You can still have fun, even if you don't do that much damage, because like I told you, like many times I did this like Eclipse Jarvan and it was just, it was a nightmare. I'm gonna tell you, it's very cool in the beginning, more of the like laning phase where you can do damage and you just one shot ADC. But then in the group fights, it doesn't work out. You die in a second. And if you get an SEC and you don't shot somebody, you're just simply gonna die and you're gonna be useless. So I think the Jarvan death count was, uh, probably around 12 to 15 death, which obviously I would get some like 8 to 10 kills, but it was just not worth it, <laughs> let's be honest. But Ramos is trying to follow up on Munda, so we really, really need to kill him before Ramusi comes. See? He had no choice. He had to retreat. That's good. What? <laughs> I didn't know that somebody can TP on Germans E. What the fuck? <laughs> That's actually pretty awesome. I didn't know that. Here you go, guys. Interesting tip for you. I really don't think that they're gonna contest for the dragon. I mean, yeah, Ramos might try to steal. <laughs> to be honest, Ezreal was way closer on stealing dragon than Ramos. But yet again, because Ezreal plays very, very good. I know I keep on telling that. Uh, <laughs> I think I need to give some credits to my ADC. <laughs> no, I think in general that the bot lanes, both bot lanes, are very very good i really liked how jin was trying to survive was trying to utilize all his skills um i'm not sure if he mains jin but he's playing super super good and at the same time ezreal who just stole our baron <laughs> wow this might fail incident <laughs> Reminds me of the world's 2022. <laughs> Virus is stealing twice Baron and the Dragon in the same game. <laughs> I don't remember which team was that, but please give him some sort of a bonus. <laughs> so it really reminded me of that. But really, that just shows how great Ezreal is. And I really like how he actually uses his E properly because playing with Ezreal, the most important thing is to know how to use your E. If you know how to use your E, you're gonna be the best Ezreal player. If you don't know, then you're definitely gonna struggle. And I'm telling you this because I started to recently watch one guy. I think he plays on Korean server. He is Ezreal OTP. I mean, he plays different ADCs, but he mainly plays Ezreal and this guy. I'm telling you, this guy is from another fucking planet. <laughs> His ability to actually use Ezreal E so good, it just looks like he's playing with a fucking different broken champion. <laughs> but that's how you know that you know how to play the champion, right? 
So that's why I'm quite happy with the way Ezreal plays. As well, let's give some credit to Rael because... <laughs> me, I could to be honest, I was really, really struggling because Rael is a very good champion in general and she's very tanky, she has a better damage. I think that I tried maybe twice playing Rael top because we did play Liana top and it was quite fun and I ended up being like super useful so I thought you know what let me try Rel but it just didn't really work out and I just kind of I had other champions to play so I gave up but this game really makes me motivated and inspired to do Rel top so I don't know let's see maybe <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day. My, I have so many shit supports to play, so I'm <laughs> pretty busy. <laughs> But with that being said, they are on such a high respawn cooldown and I think this is a GG GG GG. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you learned something new. You had fun. Please take care of yourselves and I see you very soon. Catch the love.